So should you stay with your paper calendar or should you go with something like Google Calendar? Well, uh, I've been using Google Calendar since, I don't remember, 2006 at least. And so I'm now very used to it and I love it. Um, of course, when you first start using a digital calendar, it takes getting used to because you're used to the tactile feeling of writing things and, and you know, having a, a different view than, than what's on the screen. Um, but uh, I'll tell you the benefits of something like Google Calendar. I'll just kind of say Google Calendar from now on because there's also I, iCal and Outlook and all that stuff. But I prefer Google Calendar for a couple of reasons. Actually, I'll say one thing why I use it rather than iCal, Apple Calendar or Microsoft Calendar or, or other options is that Google Calendar makes it easier to, um, to collaborate with others. I can easily create another an extra, extra calendar. Let's say I'm running a, a small group program uh, or a small team or something like that. I can easily create a new calendar um, just for that team. And I could add those team members as collaborators in the calendar. And we can all either schedule events together on that special calendar, or I can make it so that I'm the only administrator. I can add events and then what they can do is look at them uh, to be able to view them. Um, it's hard to collaborate like that with Microsoft Outlook or with Apple Calendar, as far as I know. Google, most people have a Google account. Not everyone has an Apple Calendar account or a Microsoft account. So that's why Google Calendar is the winner in terms of collaboration. Um, but okay, let's just talk about now digital versus paper calendar. Well, here's the main benefit of a digital calendar is that you can easily move things around Whereas what are you going to do with paper <laughs> to move an appointment? If you use pen, especially that's hard. If you use pencil, yeah, sure. You can erase something and rewrite it, but how easy is it to just click and drag an appointment to a different time on the week or the month or the day? So much easier, so much quicker. And uh, the second major reason for using a digital calendar is you can recur appointments easily. What are you going to do with a paper calendar? Let's say, especially those of us who believe in the, the power of scheduling appointments with yourself to work on things like, okay, write blog posts or, um, you know, plan my business or whatever it is, do my marketing work. It's like self-appointments are incredibly, uh, in my opinion, necessary for, uh, for uh, a, um, a thriving business and a sustainable, you know, sort of uh, financially sustainable business. So what are you going to do with self-appointments? Are you going to like on your paper calendar every day, you're going to write again? You're, going to, you're just risking more um, uh, repetitive stress injury or just using your energy, you know, physical energy to write stuff. Instead of a digital calendar, I have, um, I'm not going to show you my calendar right now. Those of you who are in my Joyful Productivity course can actually see an actual snapshot on my calendar and I talk you through it. But basically, I just imagine this. I have appointments like writing blog posts or doing my marketing or you know, doing my bookkeeping or planning my business. Those are all recurring, like whether something is once a week or once every three days or once a month or whatever, those are all happening on the calendar. And so therefore, it's easy for me uh, to, to know how much, how much white space, how much room I have left for other activities that are not on my calendar. Whereas with a paper calendar, again, something that has to recur on a regular basis, what are you going to do? Go and keep writing it. And then sometimes you have to move things. And, and all these issues that happen with paper that isn't true with digital. And then last reason that's super, super useful why digital wins over paper is client scheduling. As your business grows, you're going to find it increasingly annoying to have to go back and forth with the client to say, well, what about Tuesday at 2 p.m.? Oh, that doesn't, oh, what about Saturday at 10 a.m.? Right now, that might work for, for you because you just have a few of those instances a week. But as you get more and more, uh, hopefully, as you, I mean, depending on what size you want your business to grow, um, you're going to wish, gosh, I wish people just see what my availability is and that I've allowed for client appointments. I have certain slots that are available. I wish they could just book themselves in. Look at, you know, look at my availability. And then look at their own availability and to just book themselves in whenever I said that I was available for client appointments. You can't do that with paper. You have to do that with, with a digital calendar. And of course, there are tools like Calendly or Acuity Scheduling that hooks up seamlessly with Google Calendar, or it also hooks up with Apple Cal and Microsoft Outlook, things like that. But those are essential reasons why 
it's um, and and okay, actually, I'll give you one more reason why it's so so much use, useful. You can easily search on a digital calendar. Can't do that with paper. So two 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 use cases. One is that um, uh, I I want to know when was the last time I met with this client, or when was the last time I met with this colleague or friend. You know, I I might dinner out with so so such and such friend or whatever. When was the last time this happened? Or when was the last time I worked on my business planning or whatever it is? I can easily go to Google Calendar and type in the search box. Oh, yes, that was three months ago that I met with that person or worked with that. And, and even, by the way, I could easily click on the calendar appointment if I took any notes underneath there in the calendar detail section. I could easily see what the notes were. You see, so that's you can't do that with paper calendar. You're going to do keep <laughs> when was the last time and you have to keep looking back. It doesn't make sense to me. So I. I don't know any, I don't have, I, I honestly can't think of a good reason to use paper calendar anymore. Given those reasons, can you think of a better reason that, that is better than the four reasons that I've just given you that is so significant for using paper that those four reasons are, you know, are, are no longer uh, relevant? I can't see it. So, but if you do, I want to challenge you, comment below, give me a, give me a good reason to stay with paper. I don't see a good reason for it now that I've named those reasons. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. And any other tips you have for those who are thinking about switching, comment below or um, yeah, just let's continue the discussion. Thanks.